Hello and welcome to morning prayer for Thursday the 30th of April 2020. You will need a Bible for this service and you'll also need the video remote for your TV so that you can pause this video at various points so as to pray for things that are on your heart and your mind. Let's begin with a prayer. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Please join me in saying the Easter anthems. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast, not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more, Death has no more dominion over him. In dying he died to sin once for all, in living he lives to God. See yourselves therefore as dead to sin, and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Please pause this video as you pray yourself. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The psalm set for today is Psalm 136. I've always been intrigued by the content of it. Firstly, that it should actually mention Sihon and Og, uh, the two uh, people who oppressed the Israelites on their way to the Promised Land. And secondly, uh, that it should have the, 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 the chorus uh, that goes throughout it so repetitively. And I've wondered how to put it into a hymn in which the chorus would still repeat, but wouldn't be quite so uh, obtrusive in the way that it does. Uh, here's a version of Psalm 136 uh, for us uh, to enjoy. And all of us 
Russian picked their fight, their land became a farm and field, his love endures forever. So come and give him thanks and praise, his love endures forever. The Lord recalled our low estate, he set us free, so celebrate and sing and thank him all your Today's Old Testament reading is from Exodus chapter 25, verses 1 to 22. Uh, perhaps you might like to pause and read that. We can respond to the Exodus reading uh, using the canticle, uh, the Song of Moses and Miriam, which of course is part of Exodus chapter 15. Why not pause and read that now? Our New Testament reading today uh, is from St Luke chapter 1 verses 57 to the end. Uh, it's the story uh, of John the Baptist being born uh, and it includes uh, the canticle Benedictus uh, which is Zechariah's song of praise after that happens. Why don't you read it now? Uh, and then uh, afterwards we'll use Benedictus in a metrical version. Come bless the Lord, the God of Israel, who in his Son has come to us to dwell, has shown to us his countenance divine, a Saviour born of David's house and line. Through prophets' mouths, God's promised long ago to seek and save us from our every foe, to show our Father's mercy, love, and grace, fulfill his covenant with Abraham's race. This was his oath. To set us free from fears, to make us holy all our days and years. And you, my child, shall go before the Lord, prepare his way as prophet of his word. That all might know forgiveness of their sin, salvation's hope and joy and peace within. God's sweet compassion and from highest height, his guidance from the dark into his light. And so let us turn to prayer. In Psalm 136, Heavenly Father, we give you our thanks for the way that you created all things and you fashioned us and put us in our proper places. We give you our thanks for the story of Israel's salvation, which is all mixed up uh, with your creation, as evidence for the fact that you love and care for your people. And we thank you that you love and care for us too. Help us to express your praise in our own generation and always to give you credit where it is due for the good things which happen to us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
Father, the accoutrements of the temple seem odd to us now. Uh, the details of how the ark was made uh, and the cherubim uh, and the table and so on. Uh, we ask you that you would help us to get the right balance between a proper sense of formality in worship, because you, the Lord our God, are high and holy, but also uh, the informal approach, because you, the Lord our God, are close to each one of us, and you delight for us to call you Father. Help us to convey something of the magnetism of your personality to those who visit church buildings nowadays and those who are looking for someone meaningful in their hearts to be their Lord and Father for always. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, we thank you for the way that the Canticle Benedictus focuses not so much on John the Baptist who has just been born but rather on the one uh, whom he will bear witness to. You are the one who comes into the world by yourself and saves us from our sin. Help us to have a firm focus on Jesus in our own lives that we may convey him to others through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Why don't you pause this video and pray for some of the things which are on your own heart? As a way of summing up our prayers, here's the collect for this week. Almighty Father, in your great mercy you gladdened the disciples with the sight of the risen Lord. Give us such knowledge of his presence with us that we may be strengthened and sustained by his risen life and serve you continually in righteousness and truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And please join me in praying the Lord's Prayer, the prayer which Jesus himself taught his disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. And so we pray for God's richest blessing as we begin this day. Uh, we welcome comments and feedback on this service, but much more than that, we pray that God will be close to you throughout uh, this day with him.